Well, what I've been trying to tell folks as I've been traveling around the country, leaving my kids at home, I am doing this because I happen to be married to a man who gets it. Barack Obama gets it. And let me tell you something, he doesn't get it in some theoretical, disconnected, philosophical way. He gets it because he's lived it. See, there's something that happens to folks when they grow up regular. <laughs> Barack is a product of a whole lot of hard work. There's something that happens to you when your mother was 18 years old when she had you, a single parent mother, and you see her struggle. You know that she is doing the best that she can. All that she's trying to teach you is that when you trip, stumble, maybe when you fall, you get back up. There's something that affects the way you see the world and how you think about other people in their lives. You're more empathetic. You're more open. You're more compassionate. And then there's something that happens to you when you see that same woman lose her life at 53. She was a young woman. She died of ovarian cancer. And to watch her like millions of Americans in a time when she should have been thinking about her own health, she should have been reflecting on her life because she knew she was going to die. She knew she was, had stage four cancer. A time when she should have been meeting with her family and walking, taking long walks in the park and just being at peace. What she was doing was worrying about whether the insurance companies would cover her health care costs because they told her that cancer was a pre-existing condition. And that is happening to millions of Americans across the country. So I say, don't we deserve a president who understands the challenges of working families of single parent mothers? Don't we deserve a leader who understands the heartbreak of a broken health care system? Don't we deserve that kind of leader? All I'm telling you, Akron, is that Barack Obama gets it. Barack Obama gets it because he's lived it.